Hey guys, what's up? We are back with another video. And today we are going to be doing how long would it take? How long would you survive if you bathed in? So we're gonna see how long it would take if you survive if you bathed in. Okay, let's go. First one. Regular water. Regular bath water. Let's see. Imagine how wrinkly your skin's in hand. So, if you bathed in regular bath water, it would let you would last two and a half weeks. How, dude? Ew, that is. I wonder. That doesn't make sense because. You would die eventually if you sir if you didn't drink. You would die after like three, three days if you didn't. If you <laughs> My brother's being a weirdo in the background. Okay, so two point five weeks. Okay, next. Mud. A common feature in any spa, just leave before the bacteria becomes an issue. So, yeah, I remember like in Rambo, or not Rambo, dang it. If you haven't watched Predator, go watch it right now. I will put that up like right here, what, pre what Predator is. They came out with a new movie called Prey. It's basically another thing to that. But basically, you will last two weeks. If you, if you, like, bathe in mud. Ew. Okay, next. I gotta put this away. It's gonna hurt me. Okay. Honey. It, you will last 1.5 weeks if you bathed in honey. So I'm assuming it's saying that if you drank and ate, then you would, that's how long you would live. Because you can only last about three days. I'll put up the fact here. You could probably only last... You can last till three days in like two weeks without eating. No, you can only last two weeks. Two weeks without eating. And three days... Jeez, I just ate Taco Bell. I hope I don't have explosive diarrhea after this. Ugh. Dang, mad respect if you guys have to have di diarrhea every day. Mad respect. But, um... This would be a pretty relaxing and hydrating for your skin until the bugs come to join. Ew. Next. Milk with cereal. Milk goes bad in a few hours, and at room temperature, it'll curdle and smell like cheese. Ew. That is nasty. One week with milk with, milk with cereal. I would probably die after smelling that. Ugh. If you've never s smelled curdled milk, curdled basically is like, um, spoiled, um, like, rotten. So, one week with just milk and cereal. Beer. Yes, bathing in alcohol will actually get you drunk. You know, that explains it because after you go in the pool, so try this next time. If you go into a pool, your body absorbs the water. That's why you pee a lot after the pool because your skin absorbs the water. So, five days bathing in beer. Okay. What's next? Coffee. You will last 4.5 days if you bathe in coffee. 4.5 days? If you if you know me, I like coffee. I'm I like coffee, but I make my own coffee. I don't grow the coffee. <laughs> if you think I grow coffee, the coffee, you will last 4.5 days in. You will feel invigorated until the caffeine overdose kills you. Ooh. Is there such thing as caffeine overdose? I don't know, I'll probably put that up like right here. Caffeine overdose. 
glitter. The tiny plastics would scratch and tear your skin, eventually causing blood loss. Four days. Ooh, that would... We've all held glitter, like, when you put it on your finger, it doesn't cut you up. But that would make sense, I guess, eventually. Okay? Four days, just glitter. Three and a half days bathing in just pure salt. The salt would draw water out of your body faster than it could replace it. Okay? So, 3.5 days in pure salt. Three days, you will last three days if you bathed in nacho dip. Um, besides the overwhelming smell, uh, um, smell, a lactose intolerance could kill you very quickly. Ooh, so three days in nacho dip. Poison ivy. Oh my gosh. Dude, I got poison ivy one time. I was like seven. And if you went to a the um, sports camp with me, then you will know that um, I got such bad poison ivy. I got it all over my arms. They're like tiny little bumps that run up and down your arms. I got it. I was super highly allergic to that. And so basically, it just... I had to take a pill. It was a nasty, like, horse pill, like, that big. No, well, not that. <laughs> Make this big. Oh, yeah, normal pill. And so, basically, it was just, like, these dots with filled with pus just oozing out of, like, those tiny blister bubble things. And that, and it just hurt so bad. I got them over my toes. And every time, like, you'd move, like, your, your hand... Like a blister would pop, and it was just miserable. Okay, 2.5 days ba bathing in poison ivy. An extremely painful oral deal will get you a nasty skin infection, and you'll bleed to death. Hmm. Sounds about right. Two days, two days in blood, unless you're a vampire. A literal bloodbath can transfer any number of diseases. Ooh. Okay, so two days in pure blood. Harvester ants? What? This is so random. So random. We're probably foreshadowing for like another video. I don't know. Harvester ants. 1.8 days bathing in harvester ants. I bet this one makes you feel a little bit itchy. It'll take you weeks to strip you to the bone. Ooh. Paint. This seems... Okay, so you can last 1.5 days in paint. This seems like a very counterproductive way of getting clean. Yeah, because when you take a bath, you're supposed to get clean. You're not supposed to bathe in paint. It'll just, like, stain your skin. All of like, red skin. Okay, 1.2 days in the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea, I'm pretty sure, is like one of the saltiest seas. I think it's pretty much located in Salt Lake City. I'll put that up like right here. The, due to the saltiness, if you turn over in the Dead Sea, you'll probably drown. So, like, I wonder if it's like turn over in your back or turn, turn over in your stomach. A volcanic, one day in a volcanic hot spring. Relaxing, relaxing, but the high sulfur content will become an issue if you stay in too long. That's nasty, but okay. One day. <clears throat> We're getting to the real stuff now, so tomato juice. The 20 hours in tomato juice. Also, if you don't know, one more fa another second fact about me. I am allergic, kind of allergic. I get really bad canker sores in my mouth. It's like those weird blister things that you move your face and it just like really hurts. But the slight acidity in the tomato juice, or just like 
grapes, apples, that kind of stuff. I guess they'll eat them, but it's just, if I eat too much, it'll mess me up. So the slight acidity would slowly eat you away. No, wait, in just 20 hours, it'll do that. Okay, 18 hours in soy sauce. Someone actually died from consuming too much salt. Too much. As a result of a, of the salt content, yeah. You didn't know, um... Um, what's it called? Dang it, dang it, dang it. Soy sauce. Why did I forget that? It's on screen. Soy sauce contains a lot of salt. The, I like salt with my sushi. Uh, not salt, soy sauce. Um, soy sauce is really good with sushi, but just a little bit, a little bit too much. I don't really like too much. So, 18 hours in soy sauce. 16 hours in pee. Ooh. People used to use urine as detergent. The ammonia whitens clothes. Wait a minute, let me think about this. 16 hours bathing in your own pee. Dude, that would hurt. That would hurt a lot. Fifteen hours in Coca-Cola? The acidity and the carbonated nature of Coke. Coca-Cola will make this very painful. Oof. Fourteen, you'll last fourteen hours if you bathed an egg yolk. The cholesterol and protein could lead to skin infections. Ew. Vinegar. You'll last ten hours in vinegar. Vinegar is good is good at, is a good cleaning solution until it cleans the skin cells right off of you. It's nasty. Hot sauce. You will last eight hours if you bathe in hot sauce. Just be careful not to get it in your eyes and anywhere else. That would hurt. A lot. You will last five hours if you bathe in cow poop. Cow dung is loaded with pathogens and worms. Also, it's literally poop. Five hours. You will last 3.5 hours if you bathe in straight ice cubes. The world record was 3 hours, and that required a lot of endurance training. The guy probably almost died. 3 hours. Cement. So you'll, you'll die after bathing in 3 hours of cement. So, what's the plan for when it dries? Oh, yeah. You don't have long. When... Doesn't it take, like, 24 hours to dry? What I would do is I would just bathe in it with my arms out and have, like, a pickaxe ready with me and just start chipping away. Two hours if you bathe in gasoline. Fun fact, my mom... Uh, when she was little, she asked my mom if she can put the gas in the car. You know, like, in the car. And, um, she got it. She sprayed it all over herself. And it just got, and it just, it irritated her so bad. And she had to go home immediately and, like, take a bath to get all of it off. And, it, like, burned her. So, don't get gasoline on you people. It contains numerous chemicals harmful to your skin and deadly in large amounts. Yeah, that's what I'd expect from gasoline. Glass shards. <laughs> so random. 1.5 hours. Glass shards. So if you bathed, bathed for 1.5 hours in glass shards, then it would kill you. Try to sit completely still, or you'll get cut in, in thousands of different places on the body. Mm. 
that would hurt. Shark infested water. Sharks can smell your blood from a half mile away. Mmm, tasty human. Okay, so one hour in shark infested water. 46 minutes if you bathed in pure glue. Completely safe in small amounts, but poisonous in bath sized quantities. I, we, we, all, we all still, I still do this. I put glue all over my hand. And then in the middle of school, I just, when it dries, I rip it off. It's so satisfying. Mwah. 46 minutes. Okay. 38 minutes in straight chlorine. I've been in a pool for about two hours. I've been in a pool before, about within two hour range. So, this doesn't make sense. I don't think this one's true. Chlorine, long term exposure can cause cancer, but don't worry, you'll die far sooner. I wonder if it's talking if you bathed in just pure chlorine or if you were in a pool. Probably just pure chlor chlorine. Thirty-three minutes. If thirty-three minutes, if you bathed in bleach, bleach fume inhalation is toxic, so bathing in the stuff will be even worse for you. 27 minutes if you bathed in sewage. Ew. As you'd expect, the poor Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, dude. 27 minutes. Sewage. As you'd expect, this is full of disease and bacteria. Don't swallow anything. <sighs> 22 minutes in the nuclear reactor coolant. The trace amounts of radiation in every drop will add up and kill you. Poison you. Arsenic. 15 minutes in arsenic. Even exposure to small amounts can lead to total organ failure or death. Hot tar. 12 minutes. At a temperature of 100... Okay, I'm not going to do Celsius. Two, 325 degrees Fahrenheit, you'd be cooked alive in no time. Five minutes in liquid mercury. The silver surfer just took isn't worth the mercury poisoning. Can't imagine doing that. But just go make sure to like subscribe and hit the bell notification so yeah and go check out um what's it called water data that's what this is so go check them out how long would you last if you bathed in snake venom <sighs> some people have managed to build up an immunity by ingesting many small doses. Let's see. What about a king cobra? Like, their poison is enough to kill, like, 33 adults in one, one sitting. So, how much would you have to take? Like, a tiny, itsy minidrop? A milladrop, I guess? One minute in liquid nitrogen. Just so you know, liquid nitrogen will freeze you instantly. It'll give you frostbite in like 0.5 seconds. So, it's so cold you'd get frostbite turning your skin a frozen purple. Okay, good to know. Get down to less than a minute. Lake Natron. I saw a video about it. Um, I'll probably post it like right here. Put it right here. Go check it out. But it's basically these people, um, basically, they have their guns, and they gotta make sure they scare away the birds that try and land on Na La Lake Natron. So basically, pretend my phone is Lake Natron, and the birds land on the lake, and they, like, r so quickly, they become, like, statues. So, because, I forget what it does, it's something, it, like, solidifies them, yeah. Birds that land in this red lake quickly solidify into calcified stone statues. Yeah.
bottom of the ocean floor. The intense pressure and freezing cold will won't take you won't take long to kill you. Like so, you know, like when you go to a bottom of the pool and like it like pushes on your ears. Just imagine that like times a thousand, your head would implode, not explode. Kind of like what the the um the submarine the explorer submarine did. It doesn't explode because of the pressure, it implodes. So it goes, instead of going like that, it goes like, so. Yeah, so 31 seconds. <laughs> 28 seconds in liquid methanol. Not liquid methanol, methanol is a gas. 28 seconds in methanol. Inhaling the fumes from this particular both Bat particular bath could instantly make you blind. Methanol, yeah, it's a fume, right? Like that cars produce. 21 seconds in boiling oil. This was a medieval torture tactic, so I wouldn't recommend bathing in it. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't recommend bathing in any of this, so. 17 seconds if you bathe in sulfuric acid. This is a highly corrosive and will eat you right through your flesh in seconds. Liquid gold. 12 seconds. Sounds cool until you consider that gold has a has a melting point of probably that's it probably about like what? 3000 degrees Fahrenheit. Four seconds in lava. You'd likely burn to a crisp before even entering the bathtub. Four seconds. Cyanide. Three seconds. Among the world's most recognizable poisons, it takes a drop to be lethal. Yeah. Neurotoxin. One second. Ironic, since it looks, smells, and feels just like regular water. Does it taste the same? Until it doesn't. Hmm. One second. Less than a second is world's most acidic liquid. Fluoro pneumatic fluoro pneumonic acid melts straight through most materials, including bone. So point five seconds. Stry, strychenite, strychen. The pesticide will cause severe convulsions and death if touched. Ew, God. Let's see if I can even get that on the timer. Let's see. So if I open up my timer, my clock, and I go over to stopwatch. Let's see if I get. Let's see if I can get that. Zero point zero zero twenty. That's not. I don't think that's really. No, that's not even close to point zero seconds. Let's see if we could do it again. You see, no reset. Point eleven. I can. I, th I believe we could do this. No. Ready. Point eleven again. Let me see. Point nine. Let's go. Okay, that's the closest we're gonna get. So that's not even close. Never mind. Okay. So we're not even close to that. Okay. Zero point zero zero two seconds. Ace Telani. Estelini? I don't know. Tell me in the comments. Um, it instantly combusts into a fiery explosion when it reacts with air. Happy bathing. Thank you for
Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Make sure to like and subscribe. And hit the bell notification so you can see whenever I make an awesome video. And, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one.